uh, um, Jason, Bill, and Ivan. You guys, thanks for all your support. Um, if you want to email me, uh, if you have any questions or anything else, by all means, email me. And, um, and I mean, I've Zoomed with, with, with Bill before, so uh, if you want to Zoom, we can Zoom on your jobs and take a look at what you're doing. All right, you guys, have a great day. All right. I want to recap what I've done on this wall here. Um, this wall had a, is plaster like I've never seen with big heavy wire screw nailed and, and stapled to the two by fours that are two by four because this is a really old house. Um, remember it was a laptop backing on there uh, which was kind of cool. Um, so what I first did on this is I took a hammer and chisel. I took a hammer and chisel and I busted out the big bow that was in this wall. And then I cut it all back, cleaned it all up, and I double layered drywall in here to try to match the plaster that was here. So I got two layers of half inch on here to kind of feather this out the best I can. Then I took guards like this and I sealed this entire wall up because it had blistering on the old paint and I wanted something for all of this mud and everything to adhere to. So I completely primed out this wall with this. You could use kills, you could use, I just prefer this. I have it around and I use this. Then after that dried and set up, I took this I cut it into strips like this and I and I used a spray glue. Actually I used this spray glue. It's it's a gorilla spray glue. But 3M makes it too. There's a lot of different spray glues you can use. And I put this over all of the surface that needed to be taped. And I spray glued it down. Then after that set up and was dry, it was really good, I took real Durabond, the real stuff, and I filled it in. And that's where we're sitting right now. I have one coat of real Durabond on here. Once it started to set up and it was just about set up, I knocked down the high spots. Okay, all of the high spots got knocked down. Right now, I'm about to coat this with a lightweight 90. Because I want this to sit up. I'm going to get two more coats on this today. I want a coat of lightweight 90. And normally I would put on a cover coat after that. But I'm just going to use an all-purpose. All-purpose has got a lot of adhesive in it. It's got a lot of glue. It dries harder than plus three. So I'm going to put a coat of lightweight 90 on here. This is real Durabond on here right now. The real stuff. There will be a picture. And then lightweight 90. And then um, cover coat if you've got it. If you don't, just an all-purpose on top of it. And now it's ready to start skimming with topping. So, but bear with me. You'll see me put the lightweight 90 on here. And you'll see me put the cover coat or the, the all-purpose on here today. And then tomorrow I'll start to skim this out. And then it should be ready for, for paint or ready to sand and paint. Okay, so what I'm about to put on here right now is some lightweight Easy Sand 90. And the reason I'm using the lightweight Easy Sand 90 is because I may want to grind this down some before I put, start putting on my finished coat. I don't know for sure, but uh, Durabond, real Durabond does not sand very easy. It's, it's too hard, but I can grind this down. This stuff will grind down. So I'm going to lay it on thick and I'm going to pull it out with my Marshall Town 24 inch knife. 
So I'm so grateful for that knife now. Like I said, I've never really needed it. And then all of a sudden, I need it. Again, I'm not too concerned where the stairs are because when they redo these stairs, there's going to be a board that's going to come along this wall like this. I just hope they don't damage the plaster anymore. So, I need the plaster in good shape here. And the reason I'm using 90, guys, too, is because this isn't the only patch I'm doing. Right, right behind this camera, I've got two other rooms with some major drywall, I'm sorry, some major plaster patches on it. And so I'm doing those too. And uh, so the first time I, I did these patches, the very first time I did these patches, I used four full five gallon buckets of Durbond. Now I plan on using only one full five gallon bucket of lightweight money. Just picked up some garbage off the carpet just now. I hate that. It's no big deal. I can still, even with, even if I have some scratches in here, it doesn't matter. It's still probably getting two or three more coats. And, and the reason I'm not using plaster either is because, I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with that product. I'm familiar with I want to use what I'm familiar with. And I'm familiar with Durabond, I'm familiar with Lightweight, I'm familiar with drywall mud. I've been a... Uh, professional drywall finisher on new construction in homes for over 40 years. Not a hanger. Finisher. Ooh, that's looking really, really nice. That is looking really, really nice. I'm liking this right now. Um, in fact, I'll give you guys a close up when I'm done. I did pick up a lot of garbage though. Darn it. I hate garbage in the mud. Absolutely hate garbage. I usually blame it on the apprentice. You touched my mud. Now I have garbage in it. Probably the biggest problem most people have with doing drywall is they play with it too much. You know, get it to a certain point like this. This this is relatively smooth. It's got some scratches, it's got some pock marks and stuff like that, but it's flat. So get it to a point and walk away. Let it dry. So we can uh, you can come back to it and work on it when it's dry. And then I went ahead and, because there was a big bow here too, and I went and filled this in once. I'm going to try to fill this in again and bring it down a little bit farther. Try to get this bow out of here too. There's still going to be somewhat of a bow in here because I, I just, 
to take all of this drywall or all of this plaster down is uh, it's just not uh, it's not going to be worth it. I mean, uh, I might as well gut the whole thing and start from scratch. Got this entire wall. Okay, I want this again. Well, let's go this way. Okay. Huh. Look at that. That sure needs a lot more right there. Let's try this again. Hmm. And this is a lot more right here. Maybe the third time's the charm. That's not bad. This this I can deal with. You know what? It is. Let's do try this. Right here. Okay. Didn't get much from there, but that cleaned out, out very nicely. Alright. I'm going to let that set. And then I'm gonna come back. I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna sand this down because this is a lightweight compound and it will sand. I'm probably going to sand this down and then I will put a cover, coat of all purpose on top of it. I would put cover coat on top of this, but I just don't have any. And I'm going to coat this again today. I've got a long day here, so at the end of the day, I'll put one more coat on this. Hey, if you really like the videos, subscribe. And if you really, really like the videos, please just share them with somebody else. All right, you guys have a great day.